Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tammy. I'm the owner of Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. Today I am making a coffee soap. I haven't made a coffee soap in probably four years. It's been a really, really long time. And I have this fragrance oil from Candle Science. It's called Hazelnut Coffee. I really like this in my wax melts and um, it, I really like it. It's not just coffee. It does have a little bit of a nutty kind of vibe to it. Um, so I thought, you know what? I'm just going to make a coffee soap. I haven't done it in forever. And um, I'm trying to do fun and, and interesting and different soaps for the Covered Bridge Festival. If you haven't watched that video about my mistakes and everything I'm doing differently this year, I'll post it up above and down below. But yeah, I want to make fun soaps that are memorable and um, something a little bit uh, more to them. Just, you know, just soap. So coffee soap. I brewed up some coffee this morning and uh, with distilled water. So I have, I'm going to use 100% coffee in my, uh, with my lye water. I do have my ground, so I'm not going to put this many in the soap. I think I'm going to put about... Four, tea, or four tablespoons in the soap. I'm thinking about two tablespoons per 50 ounces is kind of where my head is at, so that's what I'm gonna do. 50 ounces of soap, or oil. And guys, <laughs> I did make embeds. Um, I, I made these little, I don't know if you can see them, coffee bean embeds. I don't know if I'm gonna use them. You know, I, I, uh, I just had a disaster with the embeds I made yesterday and my snowflake soap. I'll post that above if you want to see that disaster of a video. <laughs> but um, I, I found these little coffee embed, silicone embed things. Oops, it's a little wet. I just washed them uh, on Amazon, I think. And I'm not really in love with them. I wish I would have gone a little higher in and maybe went to Vanulay. But again, I really don't do a lot of embeds and it's kind of I don't want to spend a lot of money on something I'm not going to really use. But the embeds are, or the, the coffee beans are really deep. I mean, that's not what a coffee bean looks like. But maybe it's a good thing because I can bury it in the soap. So maybe that'll end up being a good thing and they won't fall out. We'll see. We'll see if I use them. I'm not going to put them in the oven. Just saying. The soap is not going in the oven. <laughs> Hazelnut coffee will discolor my coffee that I'm using as lot in my lye water will discolor. So this is going to be a darker soap. I think what I want to do is pu pull off a, a decent amount and just put kind of kind of a good amount of TD in it. Um, maybe maybe not put fragrance in that part. Uh, and just and just it's going to be off white it's not it's because it, the coffee is going to discolor uh, but if I keep the fragrance out of it hopefully I can get it to be more of a hazelnutty color but I'm looking for that foam kind of vibe on top and I'm worried about the discoloration of the coffee um, but we're just going to see what happens with just no fragrance just the coffee water the rest of the batter I'm going to make it maybe three different sections with different amounts of TD um, just to kind of see if I can get some swirls with different colors of um, like tans and browns. So that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. I have my oils over here to the side. They're cooling down and I'm just going to get my lye water and my coffee here. I did have this in the refrigerator um, for just, just a little while. Nothing crazy. It's right now 88 degrees, so a little warmer than room temperature, and it already stinks, and it's going to stink. Um, it may kind of come through a little bit, that, that smell, but most, most of it won't, and it's going to be covered up by the fragrance oil for the most part anyway my tabletop look at all my scratches can you see that I was cutting um, wax a block of wax and I thought I had my knife completely on the cutting mat and I didn't and I have I have scratches on my new tabletop
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this in like an ice bath to get it cooled down a little bit quicker. I do want it to be pretty cool when I when I soak with it. Ugh. I had somebody ask me how much kale and clay I put in here. And guys, I weigh everything. Um, so I do 0.3% of my recipe is kale and clay, which equals about one teaspoon per pound of oil. Um, but since I weigh everything, when I first started using kale and clay, I just, I, um, I weighed it a couple times and thought, yeah, this is about what it is. <laughs> and that's, I've just, I've done 0.3 ever since. Look how dark that is. That's beautiful. Are you guys coffee drinkers? I am a coffee drinker for sure. I actually have coffee brewing right now, so I can have some light. I'm an afternoon coffee drinker too. Look how dark that is. Guys, I need to rethink my top because that's way too dark to pass, even with TD in it. That's way too dark to pass um, for any sort of cream. So I'm rethinking my top right now. And I think what I'll do, let me get my fragrance oil. Oh, this smells so good. That's a really pretty color on its own with that coffee. That's really, really pretty. So basically, I think what I'm going to do is put a little bit of TD in each one of these. This may cause glycerin rivers because I'm putting quite a bit in there. These are way too similar. Let's do this. Okay, it's getting thick on me, which I'm not mad about because I want my um, coffee grounds to suspend in it. So I'm okay with it getting a little thick. Doesn't bother me at this point. Those are a little similar, but I'm just going to call it and leave it alone. Um, I think they'll all darken with the fragrance oil. So um, hopefully I just have enough of a variation in the four jugs here that you can tell this rolls. Okay. So I'm going to... One, two, put some in there, some in there, put some in here, and the rest in there. Oh, that'll work. There's a little bit more of these accent colors than I probably should have. I do have a tendency of putting too much in, but I was kind of really 
almost wanting a lot of accent colors in this one for some reason. All right, I'm going to scrape these out. All right, guys, I'm going to do a hanger swirl. And since it's fairly thick, I'm going to go ahead and give it a good amount of swirling. Nothing too crazy, I hope. But um, since it's fairly thick, you can kind of get away with a little bit more aggressive swirling and then I save the the lightest color for top I'm just gonna put this on top and I don't know what I'm gonna do yet I kind of wish it wouldn't discolor because I think this caramely toffee whatever color this this top is is really pretty and it would, it's going to look, it would look pretty with the darker underneath, but I know it's going, it's going to discolor some more uh, with the fragrance oil. So we'll see how much that TD is going to keep that from discoloring or, or help it from getting too dark. I'm just not good at this guys I know I've said it before but I always feel like I'm just not very good at this spoon texturing swirling whatever this is called that looks really pretty I don't want to ruin it with the embeds <laughs> I, I don't think I want to put the embeds on but dang it I made them dang it guys I don't know it's so pretty I'm gonna do it <laughs> I'm gonna do it let me find a skewer or something to Apparently I'm an all or nothing kind of embed girl because I probably went completely crazy with the number of embeds. <laughs> oh, all right. So this feels very full for my normal batch. Okay, guys, I am going to not see pop this. I am not going to put embeds in the oven. I will learn my lessons. <laughs> I'm going to put this on the pool table. <laughs> and we will come back when it's ready to cut. It's been a few days, at least a couple, since I made the hazelnut coffee. I can smell it. I take the lid off and I can smell it. And it smells so good. Ugh. There's a reason I don't like embeds. Dang it, guys, they, they got like all frosty. They're, they're sweating. Let me bring you down so you can see. All right, I have no idea what the lights are. It looks, oh gosh, yeah, maybe it's not too, too dark. I didn't move my camera up. I kept it at the same angle. When I, when I do my top down view, I have to pull that camera way up high. And then when I do my face on view, I guess, I have to pull it back down. It's such a pain. <laughs> I'm such a complainer anymore. <laughs> All 
I am anxious to see what this looks like on the inside. It smells amazing. I can't believe I let it go this long without a doing a coffee soap. But my embeds are sweating profusely. Um, they almost look like I glittered them. And I don't know if my if my embed is getting a little bit older or I didn't like remelt it over and over. It was just the one melt and done. I know that that can cause sweating, right? But I, I definitely didn't do the whole melt, remelt, remelt, and pour it in there. So I was trying to keep the sweat down from not doing that. Ooh, I'm maybe a little soft still. What is this? This is Tuesday. I made. I made this Saturday. I think I made it Saturday. Guys, the days are running in. I was so busy making soap this weekend. Um, I'm getting ready to go to Colorado. So anybody out there in Colorado? I am so excited. I am so excited to go to Colorado. Um, I live in Indiana, pretty much central Indiana, basically. And I've never been west of St. Louis. Is that not sad? Just not a traveler, guys. Just don't, I don't travel. Uh, we just never have. So I'm super excited about this vacation. Um, I am, I am just beyond excited. It, it's, <laughs> I'm going to be on uh we're driving so it's a 17 hour drive without stopping right so it's going to take us two days to get there two days to get home and i'm thinking to myself i wonder if i could take my laptop and i could probably get a lot of video editing done in the car and i'm thinking tammy you're on vacation seriously i'm ridiculous sometimes guys doesn't seem to matter how much I clean this. There's always little bits of soap I miss. All right. This is the center bar, isn't it? Let's try that one. The swirls are going to be pretty. I'm going to turn it on its side. Oh, I really like it. I really, really like this. It's still a little soft, so I will probably cut these and then I, I'll probably clean them up. Um, in a couple days. I'm going to let them harden up. I, I waited a couple days and I know that it makes it easier, but the uh, confetti soap I just cleaned after letting them sit for a few days and it, they cleaned up so much nicer. I'm really loving the design guys. Loving it. That's pretty. It's very pretty. My, I don't know if the camera's picking them up, but my embeds are definitely like wet and seeping and man. I don't know why I keep trying embeds. I mean, it's one of those things I just keep trying and then I, some, most of the time I kind of regret it. So guys, I'm gonna get the rest of these cut up and wait a couple days and clean them up and I'll just show you them then, just in case they, they may still discolor a little bit more. So we'll see what they look like in a few days. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It smells so good. My house smelled like coffee for almost a week. It smells 
wonderful. I love it. It's strong. I might even back off to 4% next time because I feel like it's, it's really strong. Um, maybe if you really like a really strong scented soap, this would be good for you. Uh, I, I like a scent that I can smell, but I don't want to just be like <laughs> bombarded with it. I think 5% is maybe a little too much. I'm, I'm happy to go down to four. I don't know that I would notice much difference at four, but we'll see. But yeah, it just colored a little bit more, which I'm happy about. I like, I like the swirls. Um, this one, this side, you can see maybe the three different swirls. Um, this one, you can see all three different colors there a little bit better. I think the top ended up being really pretty. I love this like tannish or really off white top that it, that ended up being. I think that is so pretty and <laughs> my embeds kind of stopped sweating <laughs> and they don't look bad now that they've been sitting out for a while. I mean, I've just had these on my counter um, while I've been working all week. So they don't look bad. They don't look all sweaty and glistening anymore. So that's good. Coffee beans don't sweat and glisten. <laughs> um, but so, you know, I'm kind of happy I did the coffee beans. I just think it's really pretty on top. I think the whole bar is beautiful. I'm in love with it. I love the scent. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get some pictures and put them up on my website. Uh, maybe by the time this post, they'll be there. Uh, but, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I had so much fun making this coffee soap. It's been so long. I, I'm going to have to... I'm going to make this again. I, that was fun. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.